Yeah. So now that you are um, <coughs> in the mood, we're going to get into the first topic of the day. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're talking about are Malaysian customers happy? Mm. Ah, so. Are we all really happy? Mm -mm. So, so we're this? talking about in the aspect of uh, consumerism and all that, right? So. Let's bring on our guests, right? Mm -hmm. International guests, shall wow. I say. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we have the CEO of Brent International, Munira Louis. Welcome to the show. Thank you Selamat for Raya. Selamat Raya. And of course, also the Vice President and Regional Head of Servion Global Solutions. A very good afternoon and welcome to the show, Abhijit Banerjee. Oh, good afternoon. Yes. Good, right. good afternoon. Yeah, good right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Malaysia, and Selamat Hari Raya. Yes. Uh -huh. As you can see, it's full of energy. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And, uh, well, let's get into the topic, shall we? Uh, mm. sure. So, now, uh, are Malaysian customers happy, and what are organizations out there mm. missing out when they're reaching out to customers mm. in terms of making them happy? Mm. Well, yeah. Oh, well, we went through some research uh, uh, in 2012, mm -hmm. which showed that around 38% of Malaysians are are satisfied when they when they deal with organizations giving customer service. So that Ooh. makes it around 70, 62%, mm. which is which is about <coughs> unhappy. Mm. Oh. So, so primarily their their complaints are that there is no consistency in in getting service. Mm -hmm. The fact that you know when they give feedback, the feedback is not taken seriously, yes. mm -hmm. and nobody acts upon them. So these are the the common grouses. I see, and of course also uh, the traditional way of buying things: mm -hmm. go to the shop, see it, feel it, touch it, happy, buy, go home. Yeah. You know, yeah. any complaint, go to the shop again and all that, yeah. right? Mm. So, um, in this world of like uh, technology base, you know, you can buy things off your phones and everything else. So, how can organizations become more relevant in uh, today's technology empowered customers? Well, would you? Well, I, let, let me try to attempt this question uh, mm -hmm. the longer way, right? Mm. Uh, let's look at Malaysia from a Malaysian's context itself here. We, we are primarily a very connected society. I think it, it relates very back much to what you have shared, mm -hmm. uh, of which 59% of our population today are uh, internet, uh, internet penetration. Mm -hmm. yes. We're looking at at least 41% are social network uh, penetration. And at least 100%, more than 100% are mobile penetration itself right. here. So we, we are really a well-connected uh, society as far as Malaysia is concerned. And of which we also realise and recognise that 77% of uh, our Malaysian uh, web users actually do share the experience of a brand Ooh. in Facebook. Ah. Okay, so which is obviously very interesting because uh, the research has also found that 95% uh, of Facebook complaints are essentially not even responded to or mm. answered itself. Mm. Yes. Um, and that poses a, a very critical point for organizations because going back to what Abhijit has said, um, you will probably see that 88% of the people uh, are generally very dissatisfied if their complaints are essentially not responded to in this case. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, so if you're asking about whether uh, Malaysian customers are happy or not, uh, well, we, we do see that there are potentially rooms for improvements in this mm. case here. Yeah. Right, so speaking about, about, about this, I guess it somewhat relates back to the customer service management and yes. everything. So yes. what is the bottom line issue right here? Why are Malaysians basically in probably the servicing industry or sure. whichever industry who mm -hmm. services the customer, why are we like this? Why are we not taking stern action to mm -hmm. change it mm -hmm. to a better way? We okay. have any well, if I may address this question, uh, what is needed is management focus towards customer service, mm -hmm. whether it's an international brand operating in Malaysia, whether it's a local brand, yes. what we notice is there is a gap between what the brand promises, which mm. creates an expectation in the consumer's mind, Correct. and what the service delivery channels are. So, so that's where the the expectation mismatch lies. And I feel, in terms of uh, what corrective measures they need to do, mm -hmm. and or what the customers expect, yes. is the fact that you know they want consistency across all channels, and uh, they would uh, like to have you know some kind of a integrated medium through which they can get in and get out of, of channels mm -hmm. uh, and get uh, good service without having to repeat their problems over and over again. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's almost like uh, you know looking for a single point resolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for that, uh, you know, the organizations who are providing the service, they need to be, they need to be geared up mm -hmm. to yes. provide that. 
And finally, if you look at it, uh, setting expectations, that's a very important critical element because when we are uh, on the phone or mm -hmm. when we are maybe in, in a store and waiting for our number, uh, we, if somebody comes and tells us uh, how much a wait time is to be expected, mm -hmm. that sort of sets our expectations so we Correct. know what to do. Correct. So managing that expectation is also important, whether it is through a contact center or whether it's in an in-store walk-in <coughs> customer. And um, uh, finally, uh, uh, if, you, if you look at it uh, from the consumer's uh, perspective, uh, they are primarily looking at uh, uh, a resolution of their, of their service uh, quickly. Mm. Um, with consistency and uh, uh, through people who are who are knowledgeable enough to service them, mm. so that they don't have to move <coughs> from from point to point to get their their services uh, mm. done. Correct. I see. I really now, agree. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Talking mm. about expectations, right? Mm -hmm. Are Malaysians actually benchmarking their experience against, let's say, international standards? And uh, you know, is it right to do this comparison to international standards? And how long are we? towards achieving international standards and yeah. customer service. Well, you see, country to country, obviously, cultural issues come in. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not fair to, to, to benchmark uh, you know, countries on, mm. the, on a same level platform. There, are, there will be differences which are based on cultural uh, nuances. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that there was a, there was a survey which was done by a, a very large global um, uh, analysis uh, firm, a consulting firm, uh, which showed that uh, on, a, on, a, on a comparison of 25 economies which are using you know customer service benchmarks uh, on an IVR and wait time perspective Singapore was ranking 15th mm. from an agent uh, uh, wait time perspective uh, they were ranking is Malaysia's ranking um, uh, 16th mm. and uh, from an overall contact center IVR and customer service uh, angle they are 23, Malaysia is 23rd out of 25 economies. I so see. in a way, there is a lot of scope for, yeah. for improvement if you yes. are looking at international <coughs> benchmark standards. Mm -hmm. And these 25 countries are coming from the Western Hemisphere all the way to Asia. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty diverse set of uh, emerging as well as developed economies. I see, I see. Right. And I'm sure people out there who have been traveling uh, much to mm. go to other continents around the world that we mm -hmm. could actually see, I mean, as tourists or people, even customers, mm. that we could see the major difference when we go out of the country and we come back. So now, I'm sure some organizations, uh, organizations out there are quite curious in how to structure and align uh, mm. their customer experience organization within their company. Is there any tips for that? Well, perhaps I can attempt to mm. answer, uh, answer this question. Mm -hmm. I, I guess. When we looked at the customer experience or customer management, mm. uh, it has to be viewed as a strategic uh, uh, strategy. And it has to be driven right from the top. It has to be right. re leadership. It has to champion this, uh, this efforts in this case here. So, mm -hmm. um, so looking at it from a holistic perspective rather than you know, fixing some of the uh, things that's not working in driving customer experience, it's what we see in, in a lot of organizations today. Mm -hmm. So it's very pocket quick fixes mm -hmm. rather than looking at customer management from a very strategic and holistic <coughs> manner in this case, yes. So, okay. so I think that's very pertinent uh, in staying relevant and driving you know, a consistent customer-focused culture in mm. the organization. Mm, okay. I see. Now, is there any um, success stories or case studies that you can share with us mm -hmm. in the various industries? For example, maybe telco industry, uh, banking industry, finance industry. FMB. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there are, there are plenty of examples. I mean, um, in the interest of time, mm. I can talk about an international bank. It, it's an American headquartered bank. I mm. will, will not take the brand name. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, they uh, revolutionized the concept of telephonic banking okay. about a decade back, and they consistently tried to improve upon that. That bank has a regional presence across um, multiple countries um, in Asia. And what they try to do is they try to make their, their phone banking self-help smarter mm. by providing consistent platforms mm -hmm. across any countries that you go to. So if I'm a consumer of that bank, a customer of that bank in Malaysia or in Singapore, for that matter, and if I'm traveling to another country and if I'm using their phone banking, mm -hmm. I will get the same experience which I'm used to getting at home. So Ooh. providing that consistent platform uh -huh. uh, was, a, was, a, was, a, was a revolutionary thing which, the, which they did, and it sort of it increased their CSAT scores um, mm -hmm. tremendously.
Right. So, so we'll ask you offline, ah, uh, off air, which bank, ah? Uh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will certainly share that with right. you offline. Yeah. Okay, interesting <laughs> to know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, well, okay, for the consumers out there who mainly probably who have been I mean, so used to receiving, uh, you know, that that level of service here in Malaysia, and for the benefit of our viewers, is there any certain? Um, value or experience that they should expect every time they retrieve a service how do they define quality uh, delivery and responsiveness and everything that actually contributes to uh, an excellent customer service experience you have anything to share with our viewers see, mm. yeah. if I may. Uh, yeah, go ahead. see malaysian malaysian <coughs> consumers in my opinion i've lived in malaysia i've lived in singapore i've lived across in the region malaysian consumers are demanding and uh, oh, yes. it's a, it's a, mm -hmm. it's, a young, <laughs> <laughs> it's a young energetic population <coughs> highly connected on the internet as munira said yes. and uh, what they in a way um, expect as i said is consistent service mm. and the fact that you know customer or customer service or customer centricity cannot be the flavor of the month Mm. No, it cannot be mm. a one-time sudden celebration of customer-centric uh, some program, and then after that it goes back to normal. Yes. So, so it has to be a consistent pattern across, and that has to be maintained. Mm. And more and more consumers are looking for self-service options, mm. smart self-service options, whether yes. it is through email, web, chat, and multiple channels, mm -hmm. or whether it is on the on the phone. So mm. these are these are things which I believe uh, organizations should look at to improve their, their customer service uh, delivery models okay. and it will help them to improve their customer service uh, uh, you know, mm, uh, scores across uh, across board, yeah. oh. across multiple segmentations of customers. Even ah. customer segmentation, if you look at there are different expectations across different customer segments, mm -hmm. whether you're the high-end customer or the mm. retail customer. So you have to have programs for everyone. Yeah. But that's what is expected, I guess, by the Malaysian consumer. And okay. even the Generation Y customers who lashes everything out on social media. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, so exactly. there was a time when uh, grievances and all were one to one, people used to complain and then feel helpless about it because yeah. no action is taken. Now you can actually go to the social media and, and this whole concept of customer experience started gathering, gathering momentum mm -hmm. from the way the social media uh, started blooming. Mm. Mm. So you can't ignore that because your brand can get destroyed <laughs> if, if, yes. you're, if you're yes. ignoring customer complaints now or customer oh. grievances. Oh, you I can't see. ignore that. Yeah, I yeah, think sure. gone are the days where people are essentially focusing very much on how fast you know, uh, the phone is being picked up. Yes. So today, uh, most of the consumers are essentially looking at beyond just picking up the phone, it's the ability to solve my problem. Correct. Mm. And quite often, uh, you know, organizations have failed in that because mm. potentially it could be lack of empowerment, the less lacking of the empowerment in their people mm -hmm. to deliver that service could be a, a, a potential uh, uh, issues that's actually hampering the ability to deliver the promise to the customers. Right. Mm. So beyond the technology mm. aspect of it, then of course is the policies and the processes that has been designed and developed to kill the customer experience mm. rather than enhancing the overall customer experience mm. uh, for the organization. Mm. So again, beyond the technology, looking at multi-channel <coughs> consistency in service delivery, um, you know, the, the key thing is really also to focus on the people part as well as the process, uh, you know, making sure that the process are very focused on starts with the customers and end with the customer in mind. Mm. Mm, I yeah. see. Now, um, for the benefit of our viewers or ourselves, <laughs> maybe you can <laughs> share with us, right, so we can follow suit. What are some yeah. of the services that um, your clients provide to their end users, let's say? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you first, yeah. oh, well, uh, we have a, a diverse cross-section of uh, customers mm. uh, to whom we provide uh, uh, technology as well as uh, process uh, uh, improvements. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, these customers are from various verticals, whether they are financial services, whether they are banking, insurance, whether they are you know, healthcare, aviation, hospitality. Mm. Mm. Right. So it's across a cross-section and uh, we help them to provide good customer experience by mm -hmm. providing them with good technology solutions okay. as well as with uh, good process improvement. So oh. we together in oh. terms of Servion and brand, that's what we bring together, technology and process improvement and we help uh, our customers' customers mm. to get ah. better or I would say best quality service experience. And I like these words, satisfaction. Mm, of your yeah. customers, customers. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a long line down there. <laughs> so where yeah. for interested uh, 
potential uh, customers uh, uh, who mm. wants to uh, make their customers more happy. Mm -hmm. What's your website? Uh, how do they contact you? Any maybe Facebook or whatever? Maybe. Oh yes, we do. Um, we, you can contact us at the www.brandinternational.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. And we are reachable at www.servion.com. Mm. Super nice. That, mm -hmm. There you go. Any yeah. uh, closing message for all viewers out there? Some Raya wishes. Mm -hmm. Terima kasih and oh. selamat hari yeah. raya. <laughs> and I hope those yeah. number 15 and number 16 should go up to number one. Yeah. Malaysia oh. boleh. Malaysia oh. boleh. Oh, super nice. Satu Malaysia. He is very localized. Man. I know. <laughs> I have here, so. <laughs> well, uh, my, my parting words beyond just selamat hari raya would be really to to bring home the fact that customers are in control today. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. And and uh, you know you need in order for you to drive customer experience. Um, you need to start thinking about from a customer perspective what exactly customers essentially wants in this case here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so something to think about this holiday and again Selamat uh, Hari Raya as well as for those happy holidays if you're still, uh, you know, still back in your kampung. Yeah. And safe journey back to KL. Yep. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Now, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. There Terima has kasih. been thank you. Yeah, very uh, interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. There mm. you go. Thank right. you. Uh, Brent, B R A N D T. And of course, also Servion, S E R V I O N, right? Mm. Look them up to make your customers yeah. happy. Yeah, we know you're in a holiday mood, but you know, in a few more days' time, probably the ones who took leave all the way to Monday. Mm. By Monday, maybe you can think of it first, maybe you can contact them on Monday itself. Mm -mm. Yeah, why not? Right? But in the meantime, we'll show you what's hot in the cinemas. I actually mm -mm. watched The Fault in the Stars. What have you been watching? I have not watched movie quite some time. Mm. Yeah, I've been celebrate, celebrating Raya and eating Cheap. all the way. But hey... <laughs> doesn't uh, show. Doesn't show yet. Yes, <laughs> thank God. So we have a few more days to go and our weekend is coming up. So take a look at the chart toppers and mm. cinema, cinema, cinema.